Hello, Facebook, YouTube, the day of Satel, the archangel. God is our prayer. Nope, not Thorn. He's a false god. Stop acknowledging false gods. Topic of the message. All right. Christmas Eve. Um, okay. Um, the thing is, I found out that uh, the full moon is going to be uh, in its fullness in the morning. At 6 11, I think, p.m. I mean, a.m. Um, what to expect? I don't know. I never, we've never been, I've never been to this place. But the thing is, like I tell people, I follow the signs of what's really going on concerning the high places and uh, a lot of things, you know, like I do videos on. And what I'm thinking, maybe that something might happen after Christmas, you know, and, you know, um, who knows what's going to happen, but prepare for everything or anything pretty much. Um, don't be shocked if you see something cra crazy and drastically spiritually crazy. But the topic of the message is very important. I know Christ to the masses, you know. Uh, we end, I ended it, end it on, you know, Christmas Day, you know, in Christ to the masses on Christmas Day. But topic of the message is related to, uh, of course, uh, birth of Christ, is uh, the reality of are you King Herod or are you the king? the wise kings of Orient are, or we call them the three kings, but we don't know how many kings that were came. But let's say, you know, King Herod, three kings, shorten up my, you know, uh, title of the video. Um, the thing is, here's the thing. Now, uh, it's interesting that wise kings went to a king. They went to a king to try to find, to try to now. Now, here's the thing what trips me out in this story. It's, it's so much stuff tripped me out. Of course, the wise king followed the star to the place called Bethlehem. But for, but, but, but the wise king uh, first went to the kingdom, you know, or went to a natural kingdom. And they, uh, uh, you know, the King Herod is like, okay, what brings you here? Uh, or, the, you know, they tell him the prophecy of the uh, uh, risen king. And, and King Herod was like, risen king? You know, like, uh, this, this person is supposed to be taking my spot? <laughs> yeah. Um, he's like, uh, well, oh, it's a prophecy of a king that's supposed to happen in... Israel, yeah, uh, more likely King Herod, you know, was, of course, placed there by the Roman authority um, to reign over Judea and to, of course, you know, make sure the Jewish people don't have their country, pretty much. Um, the thing is, and he, of course, won't know about a prophecy of a king coming to be in Israel, you know. Uh, because he's busy, you know, like other kings, trying to build their own kingdom on top of the kingdom. You know, kind of like a lot of people y'all know and you yourself. But uh, he was like, you know, the wise men came up to him and was like, you know, told him about the king, you know, that's going to be born. And King Harold was like, well, you know, uh, asked the wise men if, they find the king, uh, go back, back and report to him, and he will go and worship <laughs> the king. You know, uh, if you knew, if you did your history on King Herod, this dude has some serious, serious problems. Um, the thing is, uh, he, 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 he was a king that, you know, like, you know, trying to, Get rid of a king, you know, because this king is supposed to more likely uh, be the king of Israel. He's supposed to be the king of Judea or 
Israel, he's more like this king is trying to take his place. You know, um, uh, he doesn't like that. You know, a baby king trying to take his spot. Oh, no. And the Bible says that King Herod sent people, you know, soldiers away to kill, you know, the two to three year old people, you know, killing, killing up two to three, you know, year old male childs. This is how relentless and ruthless this guy is. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, he's busy trying to get rid of a king that is has the potential of taking his place. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, we like, hmm, are we like King Herod? Well, here's the thing, you know, that people don't realize the logistics of the idea of, first of all, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the word. He's the word, according to what John says. And, you know, he's the word of God. Yeah, he's the word of God. Now, um, if the, we receive, hear and receive the word of God and try to get it developed in our hearts, and, it, and that word of God is more likely... Is trying to tell us to live contrary to the way that we live according to our me, myself, and I worship our flesh. You know what I'm saying? The cursed trinity. You know, uh, when we when it's echoing the word of God comes in our hearts and it's telling us to do something contrary to our selves concerning our our kingdom concerning that we play by our rules and we we do what we want to do kingdom that we have and establish in our hearts do we want to get rid of that word of god in our hearts do we want to get rid of that word of god that's telling us to you know uh oh love one another bless those that curse you pray for those that despitefully use you or we ignoring it because somebody did me wrong and somebody did me like that. I want to go, and go do something bad to that person. I want to bust that person in the head. I want to punch him in the face. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, do we want to get rid of this word that's keep on telling you should love your enemies, bless those that curse you, pray for them, that spitefully use you? Do we want to get rid of this? Mm, that aggravating echo that's going against our fleshly system? Yeah, that you answer that question. All right, the three kings. See, the three kings uh, are are seeking this. They, they, now watch this. King Herod is already in Israel. These kings are from Oriental or from Mesopotamia. These kings came from a far distance to seek and search after this king to bring forth gifts to worship him these kings saw after the the place while king herod was already in israel king herod ain't looking for no king <laughs> you know but if he's gonna look for a king of course he's gonna come and get rid of it but the king saw afar looking up to heaven at a star mm. you know the thing is and, and saw and when they found the Word of God. Oh, you see, I'll put that down there. When they found the Word of God, they worshiped the Word of God. They offered up a sacrifice. They anointed the Word of God with gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Ah, oh, and now they worship him. They're now they're giving this to this uh baby boy, and now they um now to help that baby to help that baby boy to prosper or more likely to help the word of God to prosper. Now watch this if the word of God comes in our hearts, are we going to start surrendering worshiping, offering up ourselves as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to please unto God? Are we going to start worshiping our worshiping to get rid of our flesh to try to apply the word of God of love your neighbor as you love yourself, bless those that curse you. Pray for them that despitefully usually. Are we going to give forth an effort 
to lean towards of allowing that word of God to establish itself in our heart? Or are we going to be seeking after to get rid of this word of God and do what the heck we want to do and kill babies, kill, you know, futures, kill, kill people future with our tongue, kill people future with our actions, kill people. Are we going to be about killing somebody or are we going to be about worshiping the one that's going to help save humanity? That's going to help bring salvation and deliverance to people. The word of God that's in your heart has the capability to save whosoever that needs light, needs hope, needs joy, needs everything that it needs based upon that it was created by the made in the image and the likeness of God. This, this, this word inside of you, it can help do great things, but it can't do great things when the king is trying to kill it. Kill it with putting other negative stuff beside that word that is contrary to the spirit that's all about the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, which what King Herod was on, definitely. Um, it's No, it's all about building. Ooh, it's all about building a kingdom. <laughs> yeah, building the, this word of God, Jesus Christ, is all about building a kingdom of God in your heart. That is all about getting rid of you or more likely what Jesus says, denying of yourself and taking your cross and follow him. You know what I'm saying? To uh, get rid of your you to in, to what, what John 3.30, less of you and more of him is what the agenda of this word of God was placed in your heart to pretty much do. But that's the topic of the message. Question, are you a, like a King Herod or are you like the three kings of Oriana? But I hope you got the understanding of the message. Forgive me if, if there was four kings or eight kings or whatever. <laughs> that's the message. To God be the glory. Him forever. In Jesus' name, amen.